True friends stand by each other through any adversity. Okay. Did I miss something? You wanna open the trunk now? Big enough for a lifetime of mementos. I know. Can you open it? But we hated guns. We found this trunk at a flea Big enough for a life. But we hated guns, so okay, we never okay. had any, even out here. But this would have been a good place to keep one, since it can be locked. The furniture came with the cabin. Considering how off the beaten path this place is, that helped make up our mind. Sometimes she would brush her leg against mine under the table when we were eating. A curious, sensual thrill. <laughs> the table is worn but sturdy, just like our relationship was. Or is. I just don't know anymore. Man. Our dining table. Quite modest, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I could tell plenty of stories about this table. To be honest, I'm surprised it's still in one piece. The dining table was well worn even when we acquired the cabin. You could tell from its appearance that it had been the centerpiece of many happy occasions. And there were many more to come. Our dining table. Quite modest, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Can I go this way? No? Uh. I want to check this again. No? I've checked I have that. more pressing things on my mind right now than culinary exploits. The stove looks like something from World War I. Considering how basic and ancient the kitchen is, it's a wonder what we managed to do with it from time to time. Well, she mostly. Feeling peckish, dear? The stove looks like something from World War I. Okay. The Great Underground Empire. A history. One more key card, then I'll ask Susie how... Ugh, and I'll ask Susie how... Oh, space quest ruined my life. What? <laughs> Prominence science fiction adventure. 2001 and the way of uses for a piece of string. Okay. Crazy's guide to fortifying your liver. <laughs> and that's why I'm single. A memoir. Kleptomania. Big pockets and better grabs. Life and death of Kickstarter addict. What? The power of perseverance. Adventures of a Scary Bear. Storyteller. The Grasshopper Lies Heavy. Collected Works. A lot of rarities and yes. I didn't lend out my neck or not. Most of the okay. books are mine. A lot of rarities and special editions here. Yes, you already said that. Uh, hmm. Crowdfunding or how I met some great people and went broke. <laughs> Dragon for goats in 24 hours. Corridor 9, Dream of Snow. James Kellogg, Portrait of Serial Killer. <laughs> Please. Cabras, Lesbian as Macabras. Okay. The Art of Drowning. Behind the Left Handed Architect. A Knight at the Fairy Grotto. So you want to be a purple tentacle? <laughs> English Grandma for Beginners. Light and dark of the soul. <laughs> My bloody Sabbath, how I learned the de devil's music. The unfortunate life of a chocobo sage. What? It's, too <laughs> it's been so long since I said her name out loud. Is he talking on his I own? think that's the moment I fell in love with her. When she told me the soothing sound of her name. Yeah, I hope she wasn't like, you know, Sir Navender Woodson. Because <clears throat> she was not a soothing girl at all. I didn't lend out my Necronomicon, did I? You're repeating no. yourself. Of course not. So glad to meet you. My name is Serena. 
Okay. Most of the books are mine, yes. but all of hers are still here, too. I can imagine her cuddling up to me even now, putting her hand under my shirt. I could tell plenty of stories about this table. To be honest, I'm surprised it's still in one piece. There's always a chance she might return. There's nothing for me out there. This door has been creaking for years. One of the many things I promised I would fix. Oh, so you're just gonna stay here? And I need to find more things. Okay, maybe you wanna look inside? I'm a casual dresser. No need to change clothes right now. Just open Don't it. I think Serena would approve of me making an even bigger mess of the clothes in here. Please. It's full of little scratches and gouges. Dust everywhere. Really? I have no need for the words in there. I don't I know. feel like being admonished by a deity right now. No, I don't want to read right now. Especially not a Bible. They say these things are alive. If they are, it must be a horrible mm. existence. Confined in their own silent, dark world. How about this? You don't want to talk about the dream catcher here? No. I, bed, I, I don't sleep well without Serena next to me. Both a blessing and a curse, I suppose. There are no monsters under the bed. I guess they're all in my head. She made this with her own hands. The carpet? She was really good. Look what I made, hun. in case we ever need to sweep something under the carpet. See the pattern of yellow squares? It's from this rug I remembered from my nursery. I must have been like three or four, but it always stuck with me. And no trap door under there, just more creaky floor. Sure about that? I always resisted the temptation to sweep things under there when it was my turn to tidy up. The rug's all crooked again. Can you help me straighten it out? And no trap door under there, just more <sighs> creaky floor. I always resisted the temptation to sweep things under there when it was my turn to tidy up. I feel too restless to sleep right now. Alright, let's check again. Oh. Oh my god, a letter. Dearest, how do I say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so unreal now, dreamlike, but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. The hours I spent with you when we last met are precious to me. I was so lost such a short time ago. Everything seemed drained of color and feeling. I think we were meant to find each other, to bring meaning to our lives again, make sense of the confusion shrouding both of us. When we stepped into the crystal silence of the snowy woods, away from the chatter of the guests, all nature seemed expectant, as if holding its breath, witnessing a rare moment of something infinitely better than what life in the ordinary run of things has to offer. Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? How the copse of trees in which we walked was haloed with a magical aura? I felt the chill of the night air, and you opened your coat and enfolded me in your arms, and we hugged tight. Sharing the warmth. Sharing the only thing any of us have to share on this earth when you think about it. And then you toppled us on the snow, you devil. We laughed and rolled around, my head already spinning from the wine and crisp pure night air and the stillness all around. We lay back and I guessed when I realized what I was seeing. The luminous starscape, like a vast velvet cloth sprinkled with powdered sugar, like it can only be seen in the countryside. I had tears in my eyes when I turned to you and we kissed, and it felt like the only moment in all of time, or outside time, and ours was the only spark that could ignite the universe. You gave me these moments. You complete me in ways I never knew to dream of. Let me be the one who makes sense of the confusion whenever you feel lost again. We can make our own world against the rest of the world if need be. Together we can silence all the demons, heal all the wounds. I love you.
In eternity yours, Serena. Aww. My heart is racing. I can't help but feel there's something I have to do. Dearest, how do I s- uh, no, 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 no. Don't need to read again. Anything else? No. Hey, it's a watch and a couple coins. You don't want to talk about it? Where is she? You're asking me? I wouldn't know. Old clothes. They look very old. And I can't do anything with them. These keys are for the cabin and the car. If the keys are here, does she have her spare? Huh? I should probably stay here in case she doesn't. Did she even have her own spare? You don't remember that? We also have a key for the outhouse, but can't be bothered to keep it anywhere other than under that rock next to the thing. No one comes here anyway. I see a hint here, but... We did have a night prowler once who left a mark inside the outhouse. But we rarely lock it anyway. I never noticed it before, but there's some rust on the ring. Huh, should get a new one. We also have a key for the outhouse. Probably. But can't be bothered to keep it anywhere other than under that rock next to the thing. No one comes here anyway. Um... Waiting for a silent... <sighs> Did you take it? Okay. They prevent my blood pressure from skyrocketing. Doctor's orders. And Serena's. I'm generally not fond of taking medication. I find it hard to believe ingesting a few chemicals will do me much good in the long run. Don't forget your pill, hun. I know you'd rather not, but you know it's for the best. Beta blockers. I have high blood pressure. I'm only supposed to take these before meals. Not a big fan of them. They do tend to alleviate my headaches, though. Beta blockers. I have high blood pressure. Okay. Alright. There's dust on this, too. It's everywhere. After all these years, it permanently yeah. smells of her and her perfume. Are we done? Commune uh -oh. Evidence, Serena's favorite perfume. I've always told Serena that she doesn't need to wear perfume. Her presence is magical enough already. Oh, you're so cute. It smells so elegant. There's violet leaf and silk tree blossom, I think. This perfume is perfect for Serena. Why didn't I ever notice? We were happy for a long time. At least, I think we were. But as time passed, we fought about every little thing, even this. I keep looking at her things, remembering all the good. And bad. Depends on how you look at it. Either a wonderful sensory stimulant, an aphrodisiac, or a subtle weapon in the mating rituals of Homo sapiens. We were happy for a long time, oh, no, no. at okay. least I think we were. But as time passed, we fought about every little thing, even this. You didn't want your wife to wear perfume? But you just said it smelled wonderful. Sunlight is so bright here. In other circumstances, this would have been the perfect afternoon for us. Something yes, I good know. left in this I world. Know. They still make covers like this. Erotic, not obscene. The clock has always been rather autonomous. No matter how many times we've wound it up, it keeps going out of sync. Come 
on, open it. We found this trunk at a flea market. I don't care. A we hated gut. We found this trunk open at a flea market. Open it! Oh my God! Open we it! We used to love rummaging around those in our early years. I have this gut feeling that I shouldn't Ugh. leave just yet. Why not? This one wobbles. I always meant to do something about that, but somehow never got around to it. This used to be her favorite spot. She used to sit here, put her legs on the table, lean back, and just give me one of her smiles. Those effervescent, incandescent smiles. Once, we dragged these chairs out to the lake and scrubbed off all the dust and grime of years. That was a long time ago. For all the charm of furniture like this, something about it reminds me of Ingmar Bergman. Sort of brooding. One of a matching pair, obviously. There was a piece of gum stuck to the underside of this chair back when we bought this place. We just left it there. For all the charm of furniture like this, Something about it reminds me of Ingmar Bergman. Sort of brooding. Don't want to talk about this, huh? Of course, we made love here, blah, too. Blah, blah. There was no place in the cabin we didn't before things deteriorated. Can't open these? Oh, okay. The dining table was well worn even when we acquired the cabin. You could tell from its appearance that it had been the centerpiece of many happy oh. occasions. Oh my god, what? The guy who snapped this, our Fuck? host that night, used an actual film camera. It was a different world back then. Th th that's a picture? Oh my god. My love. We don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this thing. one is quite important. Uh, what the heck? Mm -hmm.